Feature Friday. The freshest. In one of those reels that you guys attacked us, yeah, the the fucking stand <laughs> broke. And now he melted his stand. How just that strength, yeah. Um, we we came we came across this singer that I think we might have seen him before in some of his uh, like Coke Studio performances. So it is Javed uh, Bashir, um, and he is Pakistani. From uh, Lahore, I think. We've been mispronouncing that for a very the long time. The whole time. <laughs> uh, and I can't believe no one ever corrected us. That's Everybody's very sweet of like, all of you. Nice. <laughs> um, so he sort of captivated us with this clip. I thought we would check out the full performance. It's fairly short. It's like six minutes long. Um, and there's a ton of things that are curious here. <laughs> Straight away, though. Okay. He does a lot of songs as well in Bollywood. I feel like he's doing like spoken word. I think he is. This reminds me of like Gazal. Like. Yes, sir. Oh, stop. That is beautiful. Oh, the roughness of that voice and texture. Oh, man. That was absolutely phenomenal. I got butterflies in my tummy. I'm trying to see what the drum machine's doing. Wow. Wow, wow. Ooh, it's so nice. Whatever he says, I'll do. That's the bit we saw, isn't it? Phenomenal. I want to see a whole shot of the stage because I'm hearing some like brass, but I don't know whether this is like a sing or I don't recognize where the sound's coming from. But there's like a brass section. Yeah, it could be the keys too, you know? It's interesting because he, he has so much texture, but it's like modulated texture because you can turn it up and down and yeah. switch it on and off and you know what the beauty thing oh what the hell is that wow cool delay too wow how cool what's the name of that instrument i have no idea Oh, it sounds so sweet, but then also so full and girthy. It's a texture vocals. It really adds so much depth and like security to the storytelling aspect of this. Yes, yeah, ginormous for storytelling. Mm. Lakati, I love that word. That's phenomenal, it's really beautiful. Wow, it's 
See, where is that coming from? Where are you, sir? There we go. I was saying, <laughs> uh, there's brass here. Mm -hmm. Oh, what you should. Also, the guy behind him. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a kid. Oh, it's a kid. What is he playing? He looks like he's sat on a box. On a cajon, but it's not. Oh, oh my god, vibe. what a freaking vibe! Woohoo! <laughs> yes, yes, come on! Come on! Wow! I ah, give this man all the money. <laughs> Stop, this is ridiculous. What in the hell? What? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? This is ridiculous. What a show that's ridiculous. Let's speed up. Ah, uh, real life music right there and then. Listen to this, that was absolutely stunning. Dude, what the fuck? That was stunning, stunning. That's okay. banging. Wow, you could dissect this performance. Dude, it's also so interesting how like people that get to this level, especially like either in Pakistan or in India or in like Bangladesh or Nepal, or, they sort of seem to have the same sort of like archetype of like teacher, maestro. <laughs> You know what I mean? All of them. Anyway, sorry, what were we going to yes. say? No, I, I was just thinking, but you're right. I think you could dissect this performance in so many different sections. Yep. Like, talking about the the, the uh, storytelling aspect of the performance, he, he really carries himself as, there's a responsibility to what I'm about to say, mm. and you are there to listen and, yep. and and i think i love i love the approach from right from the beginning because it it starts a spoken word right it starts as, as poetry as as a speech and even the first few song lines are actually spoken word they're like a speech quality through singing then when he decides to start singing the melody comes through in such a beautifully magnified version of what he could do and doesn't lose any of that gripping entity of storytelling mm. and it all comes through that uh texturized vo voice that he so has the, the composer of that song is pritam oh shut up and uh, the lyrics is rajat arora and the, the lyric to a little bit like this love is that problem whoever dealt with it got their hands burnt mm -hmm. it begins in the heart but it soon ends with but it soon ends up getting over your head it sometimes fights yourself sometimes with god and sometimes with the entire world though it acquired such bad name over years it's still stuck in everyone's tongue <laughs> how great i love that those evil games of love those bets of love i've lost after playing a gamble of two hearts why did you finish me why did you make so much stir in my heart did you did so much progress in love what have you done uh, I, apologies for the translation. I think it probably means like so much has happened in love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're trying their best. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, uh, of course. I wander hopelessly now. I'm a star separated from the moon. Why did I lose myself from my heart to this extent? What have you done to me? I have won over the world and come here, but I've lost myself to you. What effect you've had over me? 
I say the secret of my heart every time I breathe. I take your name. What have you done to me? What fire lyrics? You know, I I kind of like the concept of of um of love having a bad name, like of love having a reputation, and then sort of like sort of like having to come to terms with mm. it. Um, and it actually calls back to a poem I read the other day. I don't recall the writer, but it said something along the lines of like. If you fell in love and came out with your heart intact, you didn't do it, right? Right, right. And it kind of feels like it's similar to that. Um, now that I'm, now that my arms have gotten used to your breaths, I will live a little more. No. Now that your eyes cast a shadow on my heart, sand, I drink a little more, because the, the movie is Mumbai. Once upon a time in Mumbai, Dobara. Okay. Um. And then he proceeds and he says, I don't know what relation I share with you, but wherever I go, I talk about you only. <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny? That timber and that texture of vocals for him. I believe them. I would believe him. <laughs> he would. Dude, like the way this would bang in that movie, yes. probably with a scene and the cinematography. You, and... Know, you know what his voice reminds me of? What? That back home, there was this thing. I don't know. I don't know. Like back in 2005, it became very, very popular. To have storytellers, kind of like audiobooks, mm. but like storytellers that like folklore, uh, that well, was. Well, Simon Diaz was sort of a bit like that, right? Yes, that, that. But it became like really, really popular in all like uh, CDs, and everybody was buying them for like road trips and stuff. And I remember a like lot of folk the, stories. They folk would stories. Yeah. A lot of the the the. Uh, the speakers that and the narrative were actually similar to this timbre of voice mm. kind of very theatrical and kind of like setting the atmosphere right like you would want to listen to Indeed. him you know well I, i just thought it was an interesting video to sort of you know and, and, and a first ah. time i think we've reviewed this singer to this extent i think perhaps we might have stumbled upon him on some of the coke studio performances but, but uh, this whole live improv situation that's fantastic. with the sax i think ah. i think the name of the studio was trivision okay or Tutti, I think it might be called. Uh, let us know what you guys thought about it. And uh, aside from that, goodbye. goodbye.